Hello everyone. Um, first of all, let me start by saying that I am quite sorry because this will be a bit of a shaky video. My tripod, unfortunately, is missing a piece. Be having a uh, cluttered snake room, I'm usually missing one thing or another. So, unfortunately, I cannot use my tripod. But, here, we have a very special guest in the snake room. And I wanted to get something that I can basically pet. Um, you know, the black-headed pythons are alright, but you never know what they're gonna do. And the venomous snakes, I can only tail. So I said, hey, let's get a ball python. And lo and behold, I have found a very beautiful snake available locally. And here we have a champagne fire ball python. Now I'm gonna get comments from people saying that look, that's not a champagne fire, that's a super fire. And that's exactly what I think as well. But the breeder is very reputable and he showed me the parents of the snakes. Um, one of them was a clear champagne and the other was a clear fire. So unless there's something going on in there, this is supposed to be a champagne fire. But it's way too white with no pattern. So who knows, maybe there are a couple other genes going involved in there. But to tell you the truth, I do not care much. This is a beautiful white ball python and this is what I wanted. Uh, she is getting a bit dirty inside the cage um, as I have natural elements in there and you know they kind of stick to her or just color her etc but normally she is pure white with a beautiful purplish head and now she is feeding on a mouse of course being a ball python she is very secretive as you can see and she is feeding under her body basically but hey that's what we have right now so we'll just go with it for people who don't know what this is it's a ball python python regius coming from africa it's probably the most popular reptile pet um, and normally they are not white like this they have a uh, you know a beautiful greenish green brown you know coloration you can google and get the picture um, however there's some special genetic combination going on inside this animal that makes it patternless and white this is a 2013 female but she already has a good body weight she's been only fed live mice before she came to my place but I have managed to switch her to frozen and thawed quite simply um, basically I just fed her at night and warmed up the prey item very well so she didn't know it was live or dead for a couple of weeks and now she is feeding under light as well as you can see for snakes who have pits the pits that you can just see now um, they are very easy to switch to frozen and thawed in my opinion because you can get a prey item quite warm and at night it will just shine up to them so they will just go for it let's see if we can get a better angle but I you know it's really tough at least we see her pretty face now she has a black eye, but when you look very, very close, that's like very dark blue. Again, typical for a normal super fire. But I guess you will never know until I breed this guy to something to see what breeding this girl breed this girl to something to see what she has over there. She's putting down that mouse nicely. 
and you know morphs or you know color mutations are <laughs> to tell you the truth they're freaks of nature they wouldn't survive in wild for long most of them of course some survive that's why we have them but like if you had a, a white snake it will be an easy prey because she cannot camouflage herself but even though they are freaks of nature they're very beautiful and there are several several ball python mutations out there guys so if you didn't check them out just have a look they are cool snakes of course ball pythons are unfortunately sort of pet rocks you don't see them around much they just hide rarely come out so if you're looking for action this is not your sort of pet but again this is something that I can you know show to people you know basically I can let small ch children handle the snake because anytime they come into my snake room they're like oh can we touch the snakes obviously they cannot since they're venomous so this is something to you know show off and use to educate people and even for me to play with occasionally I hope you guys liked her um, we'll definitely have more footage of her soon Thank you. Bye.